Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you something that is actually super useful. Now they kind of updated some of the stuff and a secret little thing that went by. I made a video about this and people are kind of like, you know, you got to prove it, right? So they made a huge update to the primitive shotgun. This is the most damaging weapon up close at range, right? And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to never worry about getting picked again, because you're going to be able to insta kill anyone that picks you. So this one's a primitive one, right? And this one is pretty much at level cap and the one next one over is at level cap. So 386, you can technically, I think the highest I've ever seen is like 430 because before a server reset, you can go above level cap. Don't know if you knew that, but that's what it is. So anyways, I've got some lovely test dummies here. Usually people are gonna get picked by pteranodons, right? Even with a primitive basic shotgun, what you can do is blow away any pteranodon, right? So there's one shot. There's two, wait a minute, what did I just miss? I think I just missed. So anyways, you'll be up close and personal, right? Because you'll be underneath him. And then with two shots, you can pretty much, this is a primitive one, right? Like zero bonus to it. No effort at all, you're just shredding a pteranodon. Now let's say you go to one that's kind of a really good shotgun that you probably got out of a drop. And it's pretty common. I used to throw these things away, but I feel like I got them all the time, right? These things are basically gonna say goodbye to any pteranodon. Now you're literally, when you're picked by a pteranodon inside of the range, so it's impossible to miss, you just go up nice and close and say goodbye. Now there's one, there is two, right? So they have two in the clip, so you can immediately kill any of these things, just to show you again. You can literally fire them that fast, but these pteranodons are just gonna get smoked by this. Now an Argentavis does not fare much better, right? You're gonna be inside of the uh, area of this thing, and then you're able to just absolutely smoke it. Now, I don't know who's getting picked by an Argentavis, but it's possible technically. Now, just to give you a comparison, this is one of the highest health things that can pick you in the game, the Quetzal, right? Now, obviously, uh, wyverns are pretty big too, but there's none in the island. So what happens when you actually get smoked by one of these things, right? So if you have a Quetzal and they are picking you, one, two, right? This thing's almost at half health and it's got a saddle on, by the way, as well. No one's gonna be picking you with a Quetzal, but in case they are, boom, you just start firing a few shots and within 10 seconds, I've killed a Quetzal. Now, that is, no one's gonna, no one's gonna pick you up right at that point because they're gonna drop you as soon as they see their bird's health go to non-existent. That's crazy. Anyone that continues to pick you is wild at that point. So what happens when we add saddles? And cause I know you've got people in this video right now, oh my God, you're not wearing saddles on these things. This is one without saddle. This is one with a primitive saddle on it, just so you can see that 25. And then this one right here has a really good 100 saddle on both this side as well. Primitive saddle plus a 100 saddle, right? I've been picked by an Argentavis somehow that has no saddle bonus in some way, shape, or form. Oh no, what do I do? I use my shotgun and it's dead, right? Now this guy's got a primitive one. Early game PvP, but that's pretty standard, right? So I've got two shots into an Argentavis and it's almost dead. And now this guy that picked me is either one, considering his life choices at this point in time or holding to it. And I say, okay, you can hold to this, goodbye. And then, wait, did I just miss? How did I miss that shot? That doesn't make any sense. There we go. Okay, I was like, why is that happening? Must have been like some sort of render-ish. Um, but now let's say you've got someone with a peak level saddle and I pump two shots into him, right? With a peak saddle, this thing already has beneath half health. Two more shots and with a 100 armor saddle, I'm saying see you later to this guy, right? Now, the shotgun is something that you should 100% be using because as soon as you get picked, pull out your shotgun and point straight up and you are going to not be able to miss. Now, most of the time you're gonna be picked by someone with a pteranodon, right? This is a no armor saddle. I mean, I, mean, I think I can probably just, you know, here's a primitive shotgun, right? There's most of its health, there's all of its health right there. So that's a primitive, right? Now, you're going to need a little bit better, obviously, in order to get this. Primitive is not going to do the trick. I'm going to use the high level one here. This one is a primitive saddle. Okay, primitive saddle. I've been picked inside this pteranodon. Oh, no, what do I do? I look at it. It's almost dead in one shot, right? Now, if I really wanted to, I could switch back to the primitive saddle and say, see you later. But I'm going to keep that out. Why not, right? Now, this one's got a 100-ish armor saddle, 81 on this guy. This is like almost end game saddle you're going to see on some people because pteranodons, like no one really cares too much. They're probably going to die anyways. One shot and this thing's almost dead again, right? 
two shots and it's for sure dead. So if you are having troubles with people picking you out of the sky, all you have to do is add one of these shotguns to your heart, uh, your hot bar and all of a sudden getting picked is no longer a problem. Obviously, when uh, things like the Griffin and the Wyvern come out, people are going to try and pick you with those two. Literally just look up and pull the trigger with this shotgun and without armor on, those things are dead. They do not survive that. So this is a quick little tutorial to show you how to never get picked again. You just got to look up and point and I'm, I promise you people are going to be shocked when you take a majority of the creature's health with one or two shots. Now, obviously, I would try and get as good of a shotgun as you can. And it even says so in the description, right? If you read the description, it's very powerful up close, but less reliable with range. And the regular shotgun is powerful up close. That means that you have a higher number of pellets with a higher spread in the regular shotgun. So anyways, fun little video. Hopefully this helps you out. It's a destroyer of worlds at close range. And yeah, pretty fun. Now, and obviously some people will be like, this is not a thing, blah, 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 blah. Try it yourself. Find out, man. That's all I can tell you. You've got a you've got a DPS thing. If you haven't seen my DPS video on it, you can do an insane amount of damage. If you haven't seen any of this stuff, like people in PvP, the reason that people are good at PvP is they use things that they don't necessarily agree with, but get results. I don't know outside of this graveyard what you need to see other than it got results, right? Now, sword, yes, you can swing. Gonna take 50, 60 a hit times about, I don't know, 40 or 50 swings. That's an option. You could do that if you really wanted to, or you can just use a shotgun. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. Hopefully it's something that you can use. And if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below and consider subbing to the channel. It's literally a button. Just, just click it. That would be so awesome for me. I'm getting close to 100K and that's my goal all along. All right, teach out.